Hey guys, how's it going? This is Floodmon14 here, and we're back with uh, another episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. I am your host, Floodmon14. Alright, and in today's episode, uh, let's see, we are going to uh, probably use the, uh, yeah, the KC points that we got uh, last episode. Uh, hang on, let me just get you guys situated real quick. Uh, I think that looks good. Yeah, we'll try that. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, all I did after last episode was... Uh, I basically just saved. Oh yeah, we, and slept on the bed. So now you can see it's uh, morning time again. By the view out the window. And, um, now we have over 1,500, uh, Kybercorp points, so, um, I think first, I'll take us down to the game shop, and we're gonna open some packs. Um, now there's a couple of cards, you know, really good cards I'm looking for, for early on. Uh, but the thing is, is, you know, like with most, uh, you know, pack buying in Yu-Gi-Oh! It, it's, it's, it's all luck. Um, but there is one card out of here, one really good card out of this first one, Miracle of Nature, that I really want to get uh, for for this deck. So, uh, wish me luck. So, I don't know, let's let's just open it and see what we get. Now, I don't know if I'm going to open all ten of them, but uh, we'll just we'll just kind of play it by ear, see what we get as, at first. Okay. And yeah, as you saw there, I don't know if you guys could tell or not, but that was that was sort of a bad pack. Uh, the last card is, 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 well, it can be a rare, super rare, or ultra rare, but this one's actually just a common crash clown, so that's not... It's not too good, but uh, honestly, if we get, you know, sort of a terrible opening, I I will reset and uh, and we'll try again. But uh, for now, we'll just we'll just see see what happens here. Skell Angel. Oh yeah, and see there you go. You can see that that animation was for super rare. So Skell Angel, not bad. You can draw a card from your deck. So I'll probably put that in my deck uh, at some point. Let's um. Let's keep trying. For still haven't got that card I'm looking for, but uh, trust me, if I do get it, you guys will know. I'll basically no words will need to be said. So, <laughs> oh, wow! All right, there we go. <laughs> well, that's pretty lucky, honestly. So we got two supers, and this one is the one card I was looking for. Pot of greed. Uh, what does this card let you do? Well, if you're a main character. It basically lets you reverse the situation and win the game. <laughs> Alright. Now, I could finish buying the um, some more of that pack of Miracle of Nature. But honestly, that's really all I was looking for, um, for for now from that set. So, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not going to... Um, you know, I'm not going to get too greedy. Uh, so that's pretty lucky. We got Pot of Greed, uh, just like that. So that's that's awesome. All right. So with that, let's uh, let's go and edit our deck a little. Um, now we got some other cards, of course, from that. Um, Crafts Clown, kind of interesting. When changed from defense to attack, you can return a monster to the hand. Uh, that's honestly not bad, and its stats aren't, you know, the worst, so, uh, Blue Medicine, okay, Dark Artist, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely putting Pot of Greed, um, I may put in this Machine Conversion Factory for later, uh, I don't, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, uh, let's see, Mega Zowler, nah, uh, but yeah, Pot of Greed, and yes, uh, um, oh, by the way, uh, for anyone watching, like, you know, Pot of Greed's been banned for who knows how long, and, uh, 
I don't blame you for thinking, oh, what's the use of getting caught at greed? It's probably banned. No, in this game, you can actually use one of them. So that is awesome. Awesome. Alright, Skull Servant Wasteland. Dinos, zombies, and rocks. Um, I don't really think that helps us too much, so. Raise body. Okay. Well, I think that may do it for, you know, cards we want in our deck. Uh, let's see. So I put in Pot of Greed. Let's see. I see Low Hero. Yeah, see. Uh, this card's one of the ones left. Silver Fang. Okay. So, let's see. Did I put in Crash Clown? No, I didn't. Okay, so I'd be okay with uh, putting in Crash Clown and taking out, like, Silver Fang. That, that's a good switch, because uh, Crest Clown has better stats overall, and its effects might be useful, um, you know, so let's go to the deck, and let's take out the Asilo Hero, uh, wait, I think we can put that in the trunk, uh, what else should we mess around with, um, the effect monsters, uh, now some of these eventually I want to replace, you know, like Arm Ninja, I want to replace it with Mystical Space Typhoon, Crimson Ninja, replace it with like, eh, Dust Tornado, uh, but for now, they're really our only means, so, uh, oh, okay, let's see, I think we probably can take out Silver Fang, so, it's not that good, so yeah, we'll take that out. And what else shall we mess with? Uh, I did put in Pot of Greed, so maybe a Spell or Trap I should select to take out. Hmm, Hinotama. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess in a dire situation that could finish someone off, but I think I'll be okay with getting rid of it, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'll put it in the side in case I want to bring it back. But, yeah, there we go. And with that, wow, we got that pretty quick. I, I, I honestly didn't expect to get a uh, pot of greed just like that. I, I thought, I, you know, I'd probably wind up buying, you know, all 10 packs and then just being like, okay, you know, sorry I didn't get it, but the card I was looking for was, you know, pot of greed. So, there you go. Um... But wow, yeah, that's awesome. Wow, uh, did I save? Uh, I don't remember, did I? Uh, I'm going to go back and save. I forgot. Well, anyways, now that we've got that good improvement to our deck, uh, we're going to see if we can find a couple duels. Let's see, how long did the pack opening take? Okay, so we're to about eight minutes, so... I think this episode we'll just try to stick to yeah, maybe like two duels. Alright. So let's see who we can find here. Alright. Alright, duelists, come out, come out wherever you are. I've got card games to play, and it's Anzu Masaki. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Tay Gardner. I'm going to be as great as Yugi and Joey. <laughs> really? You're going to you're going to be a, Did you not watch the last episode or the last two episodes? Did you not see how much trouble Joey Wheeler gave me? You're going to be as great as Joey and Yugi. Okay, Tay. And I'm going to be the uh, the uh, monarch of Switzerland. Yeah. No, no, no hatred towards Switzerland, by the way. I, I love, I love the Swiss. Um, thanks for the cheese. But, uh, are you serious, Taya? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess it's good to aim high, I guess. Alright. <laughs> oh, Taya, Taya. You can stick to friendship speeches. It's, it's okay. That, that's... We, we know that's why you're really here, so. Alright. Three face dance. 
Uh, I don't know why they just kind of kind of made me laugh. Oh, and there it is, guys. Solemn wishes. Okay. Now, I think I explained it in an earlier episode, but this is the main strategy of her deck. Yeah. Increase your life points by 500 each time you draw a card or cards. So, basically the time timeline, the uh, amount of time for this duel just got extended like big time. And, and you'll see. You'll see. She combos it pretty well. So, uh, I guess I'll play Red Medicine. Why not? And... I don't think she can stop us, honestly, so... Um... Looks like we drew the combo again. Crow and Sword, so... I'm gonna go with that, and... Uh, and let's start attacking. See if Taya can stop us. What do you got, Taya? Negate attack? Something cool? Scale Angel. Ah, yeah, see? And that lets you draw a card, so... Yep. 500 more points. Yeah, this duel is kind of showing her strategy a little more, so. And trust me, it can get annoying, you know, depending on how many times you wind up playing her. But, I mean, as annoying as it is, uh, you know, she doesn't really back it up with much of an offensive threat, so. I mean, really, as long as you can, you can keep uh, a monster to defend yourself on the field. Uh, Taya, I don't know. She doesn't seem like she she'd be much of a problem at all. So I don't know. I'd imagine there is a way to lose to her, though. Um, like for example, if she, if later on, you know, they gave her. Uh, what you call it? Fire Sorcerer to improve her deck? Yeah, that could be... That could be... You know, just horrible. Horrible. So... I don't I don't know if they do or not, though. There is one, one duelist who... Who uses the... Uh, Fire Sorcerer strategy. I know it for sure. Ooh, Red Archery Girl. That's probably her... One of her best, you know, four-star monsters. Wow, we barely beat that one. Cool. Alright. Yeah, Taya's playing a little better this duel. Uh, I don't know what it is, but, uh... Yeah, like, some duels, you'll notice that... You know, the AI, you know, just... You know, doesn't have, you know, anything. But then, like... I don't know, sometimes you'll play them again. And then... It'll seem like, oh, you know, now they got the wheels turned and they got everything in their strategy going right, so. Like, she's playing so well, I wouldn't be surprised if she played, you know, Swords of Revealing Light right now. I think she does have that in her deck. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure she does. And if she doesn't, she has other stall cards, I'm pretty sure, so. Alright, see ya. But even if she did play swords right now, we have armed ninjas, so it's all good. Ooh, crimson ninja. <laughs> uh, we might not need to play this, but I'll play it face down. Let's see, that's 20. Yeah, these two should be able to get a knockout punch. Um, if if Great White can destroy her face down card here. So let's see. Oh, nice. Nicely played, Taya. I think she just saved herself because uh, she's going to get to draw a card, which boosts her life points. So, man, good job. All right. Yeah, definitely getting her strategy going now. So, n so now you guys see what I was talking about in the earlier episode. But, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, Solemn Wishes... That is the key to her deck, and uh, she continuously uses it, so. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Well, Taya, can you stall one more turn? You're down to... But now you're down to 950 life points. So let's see. Let's see if you can do it. All right. She's going to end her turn there. All right. Well, just in case you do somehow get... I don't know, something crazy. I'm gonna play Crimson Ninja and destroy your solemn wishes. Alright. Well, how about that? We actually got both ninjas a stool. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna set this one. I think we basically won, but. Eh, we'll see. Attack with Neo! He is the chosen one. Ooh! Wow, at first I thought that said Penguin Soldier, but no, it's just Penguin Knight, so nothing to worry about. Yeah, Penguin Soldier would have been pretty good there. Returns uh, up to two monsters to the owner's hand, so... No, I don't want to play Time Machine. Alright, Whiptail Crow, finish her off. Do it. Alright, and that is game to ya. I win. This duel is over. Oh, cool. All monster cards on. I didn't know. I, found, I forgot that was a bonus. Well, I'm glad I set down Arm Ninja at the end there then. Alright, good, good. I lost. How frustrating. Uh, yeah, I bet. Alright. Now, most people in the morning aren't, you know, the best duelists. They're, you know, they're the beginner duelists, like uh, Mokuba and Taya. So, uh, I'm not going to save in between this time. I'm just going to go ahead and and uh, duel again. I mean, it looks like we got Taya again, so should be pretty easy. <laughs> Alright, it's time to duel. Let's, let's do it, Taya. Let's go. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, as you saw our strategy there, she's not the only one who uses the you know whole oh gaining life points strategy in stalling. Uh, so a good early card you might want to try to get is bad reaction to Samochi. Uh, it's a continuous trap and it basically reverses the effect of gaining life points it makes it to where it reduces so <laughs> so yeah imagine her you know drawing each turn and losing 500 points that would be that'd be the worst honestly so uh and that's a card we'll probably keep wow three face downs well i guarantee you one of them is probably solemn wishes so yep all right not bad Set magic dream. Eh, I'll play horn in. Just in case something crazy happens here. Horn in, paw attack. All right. But but yeah, if you can get that card early, uh, I'm not sure which pack to get it in. Uh, but that's, and I think it's a common card too. So. That's probably one of the next cards I'm going to try for, honestly, just because it's, you know, it's sort of easy to get, and it's really one of those cards you'll want uh, all throughout the game. It's pretty helpful, honestly, um, especially, like, when you get toward the end of the game, people are using, like, I don't know, annoying life point cards like Nimble Momonga. Yeah, <laughs> play it against that. that, that's really good, so... Alright, little red medicine. Heal my. Give me that, give me that, give me that life. Whatever did you say? Alright. Oh, an impotak. Ah, another one. Gift of the Elf. Uh, kind of a good card. You gain 300 points for each monster on the field, so that's not too bad. Um, you know what's really fun when you're using that card? 
Uh, a fun strategy to run is like if you run scapegoat, and in this um, game, I think you can run three scapegoats. So imagine like running that card, three scapegoats, and then three, well, maybe just two, like Ojama Trios. Because <laughs> I, I, I think that card's in this game too. <laughs> and so like, I mean, all together, let, let's say you have, there's no monsters on the field. Well, you play those, and then all of a sudden there's seven, and then Gift of the Mystical Elf. That's 2100, that's not bad for a three card combo. Plus you'll have four defensive monsters, so. Oh, something to think about. <laughs> Alright, and we got Whiptail Crow again. Our spirit monster is here. Hello, Crow. <laughs> we didn't get the sword, though. Not, not yet. I'm, sh I'm sure we'll draw into it, though. It's our destiny. Get her whip tail, crow. Uh, you know, it's sort of a nice break. You know how they how they do the game like this. You know, compared to compared to the duels we were having last episode, I mean, some of those were pretty close ones. They were tense, man. So it, it it's. I mean, I mean, yeah, I can see how it'd be kind of challenging, you know, to do an LP of this, you know, continually because most of the fights, and this this game runs a day cycle, so most likely in in an LP like this, you're gonna fight, you know, people like Taya, you know, Serenity, who we'll see later, and Mokuba. You're probably gonna fight them overall, like maybe. Maybe like up to 20 times in the LP. And the duels with them, I mean, they're just not, you know, they're not, you know, they're not really uh, entertaining, I guess you could say. So I could see the challenge in, you know, uh, continuing an LP like that, but uh, I don't know. It's doable, though. But yeah, basically, uh, after you get, you know, maybe uh, one or two good rounds of packs, you really probably shouldn't be losing to uh, Taya or Serenity. You know, unless you just get really screwed on your draw, so. But uh, maybe later in the game, you know, it's possible to lose them. Like I said, they may add uh, Fire Sorcerer to our deck, but... Yeah, right now, easy going, man. Nice and easy. All right, 68. All right, Tay, what do you got to say? I lost. How frustrating. Yeah, I bet it is. I bet it is. Actually, no, I, I, I know how you feel. Uh, Joey, Joey introduced me to that feeling. And it is not a good feeling. Trust me. Alright. Well, I'm going to save real quick. Alright. Well, I think this is going to be the last uh, video of this recording session. Uh, I've, I've actually been doing a, sort of, a, a, I guess you could say, a long recording session to... You know, just to kind of kick this LP off to start it, uh, and it's been pretty fun uh, so far. I'm, I'm having fun with this game. Uh, I definitely hope to continue it. And we got Mokuba. All right, not Taya. <laughs> Something a little different. Ha ha ha! Welcome one on one, me and you. Let's duel. If you try anything funny, my big brother was gonna stomp you. All right, it's Mokuba. <laughs> oh man! All right, but yeah, I think this will be the last goal for this, you know, recording 
you know, little session. But yeah, I'm looking forward to playing some more of this, so... Pretty fun. Uh, got Skill Angel. Could draw a card. I think first we'll set Beaver Warrior. And that'll do it. Your time. Man, I really love the music in this game, too. Like, like I know uh, since I'm playing uh, on an emulator, it's slowed down here, but... Oh, man. The soundtrack is still really good. I love it. Alright, with Forest. Eh, 1400? I mean, not too bad, honestly. Okay, and Beast Warriors do gain a boost from Forest. So, our Beaver Warrior gains points too, Mokuba. You are not the only one who can benefit from the Forest field. Oh man. Does anybody remember watching like the old uh you know the first Duelist Kingdom episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh man, the the way the uh <laughs> the way the field uh you know the field power bonuses worked, that was really just Oh oh it was so horrible. The game mechanics were just horrible. Um I think, like, some of the monsters would get, like, what, like a 30% bonus or something like that? I don't know. And, and then in some... It was so weird because... Okay, okay, they play with field effects, right? Uh, in Duel's King. And, and supposedly, you know, every arena was supposed to have a, you know, a field. Um, but, like, uh, in, in some in some of the duels, you know, the, uh, the field power bonuses were just, like... They were completely ignored. Like, okay, the uh, the duel with like, uh, oh yeah, Kaiba's quote unquote ghost. You know, <laughs> yeah, the duel with Kaiba's ghost and uh, and Yugi. Like, they played all different kinds of monsters in that duel, and I'm pretty sure like not once did. Uh, anything gain a field power bonus, so I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of weird, man. It's kind of weird how they. Ooh, dark rabbit. Wow, not bad, Mokuba. Seventeen hundred defense. All right. So if I hadn't played giant red sea snake, that card still be hanging around, but it's gonna get crushed. But yeah, it's, it's so weird how, you know, they applied it everywhere, and then, or like, the duel with the uh, Paradox Brothers, I mean, no field bonuses applied in that, but then again, maybe it's a good thing, a uh, blessing in disguise, I mean, can you imagine, okay, Blue Eyes White Dragon, most powerful card in Season 1, and, and really, you could argue, most powerful card in Season 2 as well, um, but, uh, you know, because Ultimate has more power than, you know, Obelisk, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, can you imagine trying to defeat a Blue Eyes? Ooh, okay, here it is. This is Des Death Desquala. Probably Mokuba's best, you know, like, basic monster. And you're going to see its effect here, and this is going to hurt me. Nice play. All right, Mokuba. Playing a little good while I got off topic here. Um, but yeah, I'll end my turn. We still have negate attack, so we should be good. But, but uh, yeah, can you imagine trying to defeat a Blue Eyes with? Really, he's gonna sacrifice. Oh, Rude Kaiser. Wow. Okay. Well, I will play negate attack because. Uh, I don't want to take no damage from that. Not bad, Rude Kaiser. I must say, I, I did not see that coming. But yeah, can you imagine trying to defeat a Blue Eyes that has a, a field power bonus? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be like almost impossible, really. Uh, I guess I'll switch everything to defense mode. Wow. Mokuba has us on the ropes, man. I don't have anything stronger than that. 
Alright. We're gonna have to try to stall for a little bit. Torike. Well, I can kill that thing, so I'm not worried about it. Skell Angel. Well, thanks, because that's gonna let me draw a card. And hopefully, I'll draw a card that can defeat your rude Kaiser. Heart of the Cards. Come on! Oh! It's just another great way. Huh. That's interesting. He didn't destroy Giant Red Sea Snake. But it's got the highest attack on my field, so... Eh. Okay. It's fine with me. Alright, and he's got a card face down. Alright. Ooh. Maybe just what we need. Now I activate Pot of Greed. This card allows me to draw two new cards from my deck. Ah, excellent. I've drawn a combo that can defeat your rude Kaiser. I play Paralyzing Potion. So, now that your monster's equipped with this potion, it can't attack. Now I switch all my monsters to attack mode. Ha ha! And I summon Neo, the magic swordsman. And now for my combo to be complete, I play Eternal Rest, which destroys all monsters equipped with equip cards. Take that, Mokuba. Alright. Wow, that pot of greed really helped us out there. Alright. Alright, now you're gonna get it. Bear another fiend sword. Well, wait, is that gonna... That is gonna save him, isn't it? Wow, it is. By 50. Okay, Mokubu. Playing a little better than, than I thought you could, man. Alright. Fine. You may have defeated my Baron, but your monster's still no match for my Neo. Go attack. Or a sword. <laughs> now your card shatters. Alright. Well, I do have to say, I mean, one thing. Mokuba's definitely playing better than Tail. Definitely. Which is good. Makes it makes it makes it a little interesting. So, uh, what time are we at here? Thirty, almost thirty-three minutes. We should be able to finish this. Unless he draws like another. Oh wait, we have Shadow of Eyes. <laughs> I play Shadow of Eyes, so now you'll have to reveal your monster. Oh, it's just a wicky, wimpy crocodilus. All right, Mokuba. Big mistake, pal. Big mistake. Cause now you're going down. Great whites. Shock. Alright. Thirty six hundred fifty. Uh, not gonna quite finish him off, but we're gonna get pretty close here, so that's good. Alright. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to talk about in this game too is, uh, I don't think I really mentioned it before, but as you can tell, <laughs> um, there's, there's sort of a, well, there's actually not really a question about this game, um, you know, as far as your main character, you know, you know, they kind of just start the series and, uh, hmm, I think I'll play slot machine here with the sword, you know, just in case, yes, something some of the crazy face down. But yeah, as far as who your main character is, uh, they don't really... They don't really, you know, come out and say, 
oh, you know, you basically that your c character has been inserted into the Battle City, you know, story. Like they they don't really say that, but that's basically if you wanted to have the gist of this game, and maybe I'll talk about it some more in the next episode. But yeah, if you wanted to have the the gist, you know, concept of this game, it would be, oh, hey, what happened, what would have happened if maybe I, you know, uh, what was in the uh, Battle City Tournament, you know, with Yugi and his pals and Kaiba and, and the Rare Hunters and, and whatnot, so... Yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. Very interesting game concept, and, and I, I like it. The story in this game, like, you'll see, you have to hang in there, as you can see, but, but man, I think it's great. I think it's awesome that you get to basically be inserted in the battle city here and fight, fight amongst the pros and some of the amateurs, too, like Mokuba. Ah, big brother! <laughs> All right. Well, with that, I think we're going to end another episode. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, in the next episode, we should, yeah, we'll, we'll be more into the afternoon duels. So we should have uh, a little more, you know, tougher competition. You know, the likes of hopefully some of the new duels to start showing up, like... Uh, Weevil Underwood, Rex, and, uh, let's see, Mako Tsunami, yeah, maybe we'll run into one of the guys like that, but, uh, if not, hey, we'll keep dueling Yugi and Joey, Bakura, whoever else we find, alright, thanks guys for joining me, see you next time, bye-bye.